I have been working for the past 15 years, I guess, but I'm one of those actors that I work a lot. Uh, nobody really knows who I am. They think I can recognize her from something, but they, they don't know what. And uh, I, I, don't know, I kind of like that because then I'm not, I'm not that actor that was in that. They can just let it go and, and, and watch the, the story unfold and, and hopefully believe it. What does a rich man look like? I'd, I'd, I'd like to make the money that a, a, a huge celebrity does, but... Uh, so I went to a performing arts high school um, called New World School of the Arts. And then from there, you audition for conservatories or someplace. And um, I auditioned for New York University and uh, SUNY Purchase, which is a state university of New York, and uh, Boston University. And uh, surprisingly got into all three of them, but chose SUNY because I could get in-state tuition. <laughs> and it actually was an amazing program. And uh, you studied voice and you studied uh, speech and of course acting, movement, uh, dance. And it was really, a, it was a wonderful, wonderful program. So that's, that's how I got started and then uh, was doing that in New York and then got a job in Los Angeles and was uh, moved out here, actually. Mm -hmm. They wanted me to test in Los Angeles for a soap opera, uh, Days of Our Lives. It was, it was very interesting because I was right out of a conservatory and I wanted to do theater. I wanted to, uh, you know, you're young and you have all these high hopes and, um, and that's my love anyway. So I decided to go out and I, I tested for it and then got it. and. Uh, uh, so that's why I, how I was moved out to Los Angeles. I think that you should study, <laughs> and I think that you should go and uh, either a conservatory, go to college, um, go to acting class. Um, I think a conservatory is best because you will work on your voice and get rid of the habits that everybody has habits of speaking in a, in a higher voice or a lower voice, and, and you want full range, I think. Um, uh, you want to get rid of any, um, maybe you have a, a, an accent or, or a specific dialect, that you want to be able to play a wide range of characters. And if you're from the South and you have a Southern accent, you really can't play someone who's from Brooklyn. You know, you need to be able to, I think it's best to be able to be kind of like a, a, a canvas, a blank canvas, and be able to color with any, 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 any colors that you want. And, um, and you get the college experience, which I think most young kids need. And then when you come out, you can decide then what you want to do. You can do theater, you'll have the voice, you'll have the training. You can do television, you can do film, and then you can find out what your passion is, and then you can do it. Don't try to become a star. Because <laughs> you have no control over that. You can be an actor, but don't, don't try and be a star.